Hi, welcome to the recording of the Ruminant Nutrition Webinar from Monday the 12th of March 2018. This webinar was presented by Desiree Jackson and made possible through the collaboration between Leading Sheep and Southwest NRM. This is clip four in a series of short recordings from this webinar and covers the big three, protein, energy and phosphorus, as well as why nutrient balance is important and relative importance of different nutrients. So I always refer to these as the big three. Um, the three main nutrients we need to take care of, um, if we're on Mulga country, then obviously sulfur's in there as well. But the three main ones in Northern Australia that we need to focus on and get right before we start worrying about some of the others are energy, protein, and phosphorus. Um, and, and we really need to closely monitor those for the reasons that I'll, I'll give you in the next slide. But we also need to make sure that they're in balance. So if, if one is out of um, balance and we're supplementing for the other two, we're not going to get a good response to that supplement until all the nutrients are balanced. And those supplements must be balanced with the pasture that the animals are consuming. Because as I mentioned earlier, more than 90% of what the animal's eating comes from pasture. So protein's usually the first to become deficient. It usually happens early dry season, but it's not always the case. And so it's very important to monitor the diet quality. If, if you can pinpoint when animals are actually on the point to turn and starting to lose weight, then it's relatively inexpensive to start, uh, if you start feeding early, to supplement animals with urea, provided it's conditions that are, where it will be um, effective. Um, young animals in particular have very high requirements for protein, as do heavily pregnant and lactating animals. Uh, energy, fortunately, is usually the last one to become deficient unless you get spoiling rain or frost, and that will cause um, it to become deficient in the diet pretty much straight away. And once energy does become deficient in the diet, that's when you get an onset of rapid weight loss, which you won't necessarily pick up for a few weeks. Um, it is expensive to supplement, so um, by monitoring um, the diet quality in relation to the animal's requirements. If you get in early to do that, then it allows you to consider a few other options other than just supplementing those animals, you know, whether that be weaning animals um, or shifting animals to another paddock or, or selling. Animals that have high nutritional requirements are heavily pregnant lactating breeders and young weaners. So phosphorus, um, some of you might think that you don't have um, a phosphorus deficiency. 70% of nor Northern Australia is phosphorus deficient. Um, and I always make the comment that just because you're in black soil doesn't make you exempt. So if you're on Mitchell grass country, there's certainly huge areas that are uh, phosphorus deficient, even on some Gigi country. And I've even come across um, properties that have Brigolo country where some paddocks were pea deficient. Generally, it's probably more the exception than the rule, but it's something that you need to rule out for your own property. And phosphorus does have a huge impact on fertility growth, uh, milk production, and dry matter intake. It's involved in just about every metabolic process in the body. And some of the research that's recently been done, being done looking at phosphorus in the diet has shown that where it is deficient in the diet, it can drop intake of pasture by up to 40%, which means those animals are eating up to 40% less energy and protein, and it can cause weight loss in those animals. So it's something that needs to be ruled out for your property. So nutrient balance, um, it's really important to have correct nutri nutrient balance. So we want our supplements to be balanced with what the animals are receiving from the pasture, because it has a Massive impact on dry matter intake, how much pasture those animals eat, and also the response to supplements. And it's difficult to be able to balance a lick with the diet if you don't know what the animals are actually getting from the pasture. So I strongly recommend actually monitoring diet quality. You know, your big nutrients that are of most concern, if you know, if you've got them down pat, you're 90% of the way there, and that's energy, protein, phosphorus, and in some areas, sulfur, um, and to a lesser extent, things like vitamins and trace minerals. Unless you've got an endemic deficiency, you most probably will get a very limited response to some of those things, if any response at all, if 
thing, uh, nutrients such as metabolizable energy, protein, phosphorus aren't addressed in the diet. Thank you for watching this short clip from the Ruminant Nutrition webinar. If you have any questions or would like some more information, please visit www.leadingsheep.com.au.